All right, today we're talking about team rebounding. So these, these ladies right here are gonna be working hard and showing us some drills that are very important with rebounding. Over the last several years, the value of analytics in basketball has really skyrocketed, okay? So you're seeing trends with way more threes, a lot more of an attempt to get layups, a lot less mid-range shots. So these analytics are, are very specifically shaping the way we play the game. With these longer shots and the higher frequency of these shots, this means there's gonna be much longer rebounds as well. Okay, so the value of analytics tells us all of these mathematical things, but there's, there's one simple truth there's one simple truth when it comes to basketball. The team that gets the most shots, like going to Las Vegas, like going to Monte Carlo, the team that gets the most shots is going to have a higher likelihood of winning games. They're going to score more points. So when you're trying to get these players to understand the value of analytics, they need to understand, let's just not give as if we're Santa Claus. Let's not give Christmas presents to the other team and force them into a missed shot, and then they get a second or even a third opportunity. So we want to make sure that the other team has less shots than we do. Rebounding is, is mental warfare. It's a battle. And when you look over here, and you see these beautiful smiling faces, with guys, with girls, you're not allowed, I talked about this in the previous clinic, you're not allowed to just go up and just bump somebody walking down the street. You're not allowed to just bump somebody going to the grocery store. You can't say, can I order another hamburger and then bump the waitress. You can't do that. But in basketball, somehow we're rewarded for physicality, for activity, for being very aggressive. We need to establish as coaches an acceptable number of offensive rebounds that we're willing to allow because some are going to happen. Be it on a free throw, be it a an air ball, which is very hard to box out. There's gonna be a certain number of offensive rebounds that happen. As a coach, you have to really think about how many is an acceptable number. Is, is it nine? Is it five? Is it 15? A single digit number is a good goal to have. It's a very good goal to have. And you can easily read the stat sheet after a game and say, okay, we gave up 14 offensive rebounds no wonder we lost. And it's easy to say, guys, we only gave up three offensive rebounds today. No wonder we won. We had more shots. So you need to have this in your mind. This charge circle, this white circle right here, it's a visual cue. It lets you know what this means. It's something that you can say to somebody. You can tell somebody, go to the middle of the free throw line, and if they know basketball, they're gonna come right here. They're not, they're not gonna come over here, they're not gonna come over here. If you tell somebody, get outside the three-point line, they know to do this because there's a line. So it's good to have visual cues. So as, and before we go into these drills, my goal as a coach for you is when we do rebounding, that nobody's allowed to get inside this, this area. Some people call it the zone, some people the paint, some people the key. This area right here is, is like, it's like going to church. You have to be very respectful when you come into this area. We don't want to let people come into here. So when somebody shoots over there and the shot goes up and I wait for somebody to come in and then I try to box out, it's too late. It's too late. So we want them to go outside of this area, go find somebody and hold them outside. There's still going to be a random offensive rebound that bounces too high, too far, unlucky. That's going to happen. But if you allow an offensive rebound and you're standing right here, you can yell at that player. If you're standing right here and they're working and you watch it again on video and you see them, they're pushing out, there's going to be a random lucky one that happens. But keep that in your mind right now when we, go, when we get to these drills. Techniques. Techniques. Can I have two girls, please? Two girls. Who are, who are the excited volunteers? Fantastic. Okay, can you please be right here? Can you please be right there? Good. Can I have that ball, please? Thank you. Good. All right. So say somebody else shot over here. The shot goes up. We want to get offensive rebound. You're coming in. You're coming in to rebound. That's your girl. Do you understand me? Okay. 
That's your girl. All right. And she's coming in right now. So what I just talked about, I, I would not like for you to turn around and just come over here and think, I'm going to get the rebound. It's going to come right to me because this person, strong, fast, athletic, hungry, wants the ball, wants to score. Everybody wants to score so they have a chance to come get it. We have to make sure that she doesn't also get inside this area. Okay, so please come back out. There's, there's certain things you can do in basketball, and karate is not one of them. It'd be awesome, but if she's coming in and you go, hi like you can't do that. That's, that's on sportsman like, okay? So we can't do karate. We can't trip her, and we also can't punch her. We can't do that. After that, it's kind of like whatever works. Okay, so there's some people that will teach you, come in please, and tell you to put an arm across their body. Some people say, turn around and touch her with your butt. There's a lot of different techniques. And I'm gonna let the coaches decide what is the best for you guys and your team and your situation. But the number one thing that we have to have is contact. Is this contact? No. This is contact. It's not a lot, but it's contact. Right, so there has to be a certain level of contact where I'm touching her, holding her, keeping her outside. Okay, so just we're just gonna walk through this right now. Please start inside the key. Help side, you're active, you're like, I'm in, I, I got last, I'm talking. All right, ball comes up, there's a shot. As soon as that shot goes up, she's coming in to get this rebound. You cannot turn around and just look and wait. We have to go find her. We, we don't wanna go all the way outside the three point line, that's silly. We don't wanna come all the way over here because you're also not going to get the rebound. But there's a middle area, and I'm going to walk this area, where I think that this is an area where you should go to to make sure somebody doesn't come inside our church. This is our church, okay? So as she comes towards, the ball goes up. Imagine a ball just got shot. She's coming. You're jogging right now. You're going to go to her. Come on in, please. Come in slowly. You're going to make contact with her, and you're going to do the best you can to keep her outside of your church. You're gonna keep her outside of this paint. Okay? We're gonna walk through that a couple of times. Were you the one that stood up to volunteer to come in too? Okay, please come out. Thank you. You're gonna be right here, please. Thank you for volunteering. Okay? So you have the ball. When I say shoot, you're gonna shoot, okay? Right now, you pretend you're in health side. All right? She beat her her girl okay so somebody gambled she dribbled right here she couldn't come all the way she was scared she shoots this shot the distance on this rebound is please back up is different than this rebound okay so if i pass to somebody way down there i got to put a lot of power on it if i put that same power on somebody that's this close it's a turnover waiting to happen, okay? So the same thing with the shot. The power, the energy from this ball is different out there than it is from right here in a layup. If she shot a layup from here, it goes like this, right? And if she shot a three right here, it would bounce off the backboard. So she's shooting a mid-range shot, all right? When she shoots this shot, you can smile sometimes too, okay? When she shoots this shot, you're coming out here, you're coming in, you're trying to get this rebound. If you get the rebound, she has five push-ups. And your coach told me, your coach told me that you guys love push-ups. They said, that's your favorite thing ever to do. So if she gets this rebound, you have five push-ups. But if you do not, just to make sure they're not too friendly with each other, like, hey, like, listen, I won't make you do push-ups. You don't make me do push-ups. You have one. Five and one. You understand it? Okay. You're going to shoot when I, say, when I say shoot, okay? Shoot. Here we go. We're live. We're live. Shoot. Shoot. Try to get it. Try to get it. Go again, go again, go again. I'm gonna stand here just to make you miss a little bit, okay? Ready, go. Good, stop. Fantastic, that's perfect, that's perfect, okay? Thank you, can you please stay right there? Can you stay right here too? You got your push up? All right, you're right here. You're right here? You're out of bounds, you're out of bounds? She has the ball? You're out of bounds, you're right here, okay? Thank you. All right, so now we just talked about off ball, rebounding. But something you see a lot, and again, every coach, every coach has their own philosophy. Do we want to contest and run? Do we want to leak out? I don't want to, okay? I don't want to leak out. So you're going to pass the ball. You're going to let her shoot. Don't go blocking into the crowd right now, okay? You're going to let her shoot. You're going to shoot a shot. Shoot. 
Okay. As that happens, you have to make contact with her. What I don't want to see ever is you go like this and you just keep running and you let them. You guys do all the work. I'm down here for you to throw it up to me. I want you to still box out. Okay? So now you're coming down. You're on this hash mark. You have the ball. She has the ball. She has the ball. She's going to pass you. She's trying to block your shot right now. You're trying to block her shot, but you're not leaking out. You're not going this way. The same rules apply. If she gets the rebound, push up city. And if you don't, one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Box out, box out, box out. Go again. Go again. Good shot. Good shot. Go again. Box out. Box out. Go get it. Go get it. Good job. Good job. So right now, I need five girls on this side. I need five girls on this side. One ball's right here. One ball's right here. So there's one shooter. There's one shooter. We're changing every time. So we have a line of girls right here on the baseline. One, one, you're right there. Good. All right, you're here with the ball. And three right here. Same thing. You're right here. And three are waiting to come in. You can go. Good. All right, so the same thing. When this side goes, you guys rest and vice versa. So you guys are going to go first. Let them have space to go. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Box out. Box out. Box out. Good. You guys go again. Let, let the ball, let, the, let it get rebounded. Can you explain that? Let them rebound, and then this side will go. Just wait a little bit more. Let them shoot and rebound, and then they can go. They went just a little bit too soon. Whoever, whoever was out there, go again. Same, same girls, same girls. So you, perfect. Here we go, here we go. Box out, box out, box out, keep her out. Good. Next, here we go. Right, right here. Hold on. We got some really good shooters here. We got some really good shooters. All right, we need some misses too. Here we go. Box out, box out, box out, box out. Good. Next, here we go. Good. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Let's go. Make contact. Make contact. Good. Go get it. Push-ups. Here we go. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Good. Hold on. Stop. Please, there should be a shooter here. There should be a shooter there. Ball. Can you please explain to them the other side should wait just a little bit longer? Okay? When, when we do shooting drills in practice, I try to teach everybody, make or miss, to get the ball before it hits the floor. In all of these rebounding drills, I'm going to give them one bounce. So, for example, you pass it here. Let me shoot because all of you shoot like 90%. Okay? So when this happens, all right, and it goes like this, Somebody should get it one bounce before the ball hits the floor a second time. So if you shoot over here and it bounces all the way over there, I want you guys to sprint, run and go get it. And you guys are waiting. As, as much as possible, you want to get this ball. So first things first, contact, and then go get the ball. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Box out, go get it, go get it. Here we go, next. Box out, box out. Go get it, go get it. Next. Go get it. Good, next. Go get it. Good job. Good box out, good job. Next. Stop, stop, stop. Go back and go again. That was almost a foul. Almost a foul. Go back, go back, go back, please. So the hard part with this, please, on the block, on the block. The hard part with this is we don't want to teach bad habits. We, we're working on boxing out, but again, we can't do karate, and we can't catch her in the air. So we have to let her land, and FIBA's doing a good job right now trying to protect shooters and making sure they don't land on somebody's feet. So we still have to make sure it's a good contest and box out. Okay, here we go. Go again. Good, good. Next. Next. Here we go. Box out. Next. Go get it. 
Stop, stop, stop. That was the second balance I was talking about. All the girls, one push-up. Every girl, one push-up. One push-up. So if the ball's bouncing, go get it. Don't let it bounce the second time. All right, here we go. One more minute. One more minute. Here we go. One more minute. Box out. Go get it. Go get it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Box out. Go get it. Go again, go again, same group, go again. Same group, better box out. Here we go, same way. Box out, box out, box out. Good, next. Good. Very good, good hustle. We're gonna take one ball out, give the ball to the coach, please. Give the ball to coach. You're coming out here, please. So you're on the block, you're on the block. All right, now, very, very similar. Very similar, but now we're incorporating, we're building, we're incorporating what we talked about in the beginning. This is our church, this is our area. You have lines right here that you can see and understand that the coach can also see to yell at you when you do it wrong or to say great job when you do it right, okay? Right now, you're gonna make this pass. Can you shoot threes? Then scoot behind the three-point line. She's gonna shoot a three. Your job is to box her out. Your job is to box her out. You're coming in there like an animal to get this rebound. Try to trick her, try to fake her. Come box me out, please. Like you're gonna go like, you know what I mean? Like try to make her work really hard. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Stop. Look where she is. She's in church. She's in church. She's in here enjoying church. Let's go again. Here we go. Keep her out, keep her out, keep her out. Keep her out, go again, go again, go again. Good job, go again. Here we go. Don't let her in there, don't let her in there. Go get it. Defense, two push-ups, defense, two push-ups. And we go again, and we go again until we get it right. This is, hold on. This is the part sometimes where coaches maybe start to feel bad and say, you know what? Maybe these girls can't do it, these guys can't do it. Rotate. But we should never do that. We should make sure they know how to do it correctly. And they might hate us. And that's okay because we want to have wins. We're not here to be friends. After we're holding a championship, we can all smile and be happy. But until that happens, we gotta keep people out of where we want them. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Box out, hold her out. Stop. Go back again. Can you come out here real quick, please? Can, uh, you're gonna be the offense. I'm, I, I will not hurt you if you don't hurt me, okay? This, this is the point in time, please listen, okay? This is the point in time when a, a coach just said what I said, where you're like, you know what? She is not getting in this paint. I don't care what I have to do. She is not going to get in here. I will not hurt her, but she doesn't come inside this area that is mine. So as soon as this happens, the shot goes up, like you're going to find her. It's not like, I don't want to hurt you. I'm touching you. I know I'm supposed to. Please, it's, are you okay? Like, like, I love you. You know, like, it's not that. It's warfare. It's a war. Okay? So as he's trying to get in here, I'm like this. Almost to the point where maybe I forget the ball, but I don't let this person get in there because she just got in there three times in a row. Okay? So, please, so when this happens, you're here, you're playing defense, you can't not do your job. You can't say, you know what, I'm going to stand here. You, no, you have to play defense. But then there's another job. The shot gets taken. We're not in defensive mode. We're in rebounding mode. So as they, she comes in, you're like this, and you feel her go this way. Feel her go, maybe you go like this. Maybe you go like this. But you do everything you can to get your feet really wide. Really, really wide. So they have to go around. If you are thin and you go like this, it's easy. If you go like this, like, then it's harder for them. And they know, okay, that's, that's going to hurt. And here's the, here's the really cool part. Here's the really cool part. This person doesn't want to get hit. Do you want to get hit? 
No. She doesn't want to get hit. Nobody wants this contact. It hurts to get hit in your chest right here. It hurts to get poked in your stomach. It doesn't feel good. So imagine if you box out, jump, jump ball, you box out the first five times crazy hard. You know what they do? They stop. They start going like this. Shot. They don't want to go in there anymore for that. So the first chance that you have to box somebody out, make them feel it. Make them feel it, okay? I didn't say to hurt her, but try to get in the paint still, okay? Here we go. Keep her out, keep her out. Good, good, good. That's it, rotate, rotate. As you guys come from here, make sure you change lines on the bottom, okay? Here we go, whoever passed, you're right here. Ready, keep her out, keep her out. Here we go, here we go. Stop, hold on, go, go right here. Go right here. No, stay right here. Stay right here. Good. No, no, you're like maybe here. Okay? So right now, this is a gray area. She didn't do exactly what I wanted because she got inside the paint. She got inside there. But by me being very demanding, by me saying, no, don't get in there, by me being demanding and making a rule, she's working hard to follow that rule. By just keeping her here, the likelihood that we're going to get the rebound is already much higher. It's much higher. Obviously, this is closer compared to that. That's much closer to the basket. This is further. But just by doing that, you did a great job. Okay? Good job. Rotate. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Box out. No, 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 no. Go again. Go again. You saw what happened, right? She got in there. She got the rebound. Here we go. Stop. Girls, please listen very carefully, okay? So before this practice, I talked to your coaches, and they said they're the best rebounders in the entire country. I'm, I'm joking. They didn't say that. Here, here's the thing I want you to know. The best rebounding team in the entire country needs to be better at rebounding. As a coach, I have to try to get better every day. As a player, you have to try to get better every single day. So if you guys, if it was true that you're the best in the country, we got to work on it. If you're not that good, we got to work on it. But I want you to really, really think about this right now. If you can keep your man, your girl, your opponent outside of this area, the likelihood that we get the rebound as a team goes up and up and up. Okay? So do everything you can to be physical, be aggressive, and make contact. Here we go. Here we go. Good, perfect, that's all we want. Good job, rotate, let's go, come on, quick. Hey, much better, much better. Good job, here we go. Box out, box out, good, next, next, let's go, quick. Go again, go again, go again, it's okay, go again. Same group, same group. Go again, good shot, go again, go again. Same way, same way, same way. Out of the paint, okay? Out of the paint. Here we go. Box out, keep her out, keep her out. Good, all right. Now, can three of you please get an orange jersey, three of you get a blue jersey, and three of you can be white, okay? You're coming here. Can you come to the top, please? Can you come to the top? You don't need one, you go to the top. And can you go to the top right there? You're on the wing. So we need three blue, three orange. Three blue, three orange. Everybody else can sit down, okay? The, bl the blues are one is right here. One blue is right here. Orange, you guys are right behind waiting. And one blue is right here. Can I see the ball? Coach, I'm going I'm to have you right now. Coach, you're right here. You can stand here or you can stand here. You can walk around. Your job is to pass to one of them. As soon as you catch it, you make one pass. You make one pass. Please, coach, can you please pass to one of them? You have to make one pass. I don't care who. Shot. As soon as they pass, you're running out. The, your man is the right out in front of you. You're going to shoot, and you guys have to box out. Okay? You guys have to box out. 
Offensive rebound, offensive rebound equals three push-ups for all three of you. If they get a rebound, three push-ups. If they get in the paint, if they even get in the paint, it's automatically one push-up. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. One pass. One pass. Go get it. Good. Good. Blue, you're here. You got one push-up afterwards. Here we go. Orange. Here we go. Box out. Go again. Go again. Good shot. Go again. Keep her out of the paint. Keep her out of the paint. Go again. Keep her out of the paint. Good job. Keep her out of the paint. Out of the paint. Hey, good job. Good job. Good job. You two, please come here. Can you come here, please? Can you, can you stay here? What's your name? Sonia. Good job. What's your name? Borogoka. Was I close? No. You can say no. I did bad. Okay. You're right here. So Sonia just boxed out, and she did everything she could. Right now, you faced her, and the ball bounced somewhere else. Fantastic. You're not going to be able to box out and get every single rebound. But you make sure that the nearest person who does not get it. Stay here, please. Stay here. So some of these coaches maybe do, can you stand right here and do, and do just what you did? Some coaches maybe don't want this. Some maybe do. I had a player in my team last year that was not the fastest, most athletic guy in our league. And he boxed out. He had to learn. I had to help him. But he boxed out like this. And in the second half of the season, he was fantastic. It helped our team so much because he did that. Because this person could not get the ball. So you did your job just by doing that. Good job. All right, rotate. Here we go. Keep him out of the paint. Out of the paint. Out of the paint. Good. Good. Again, rotate. Rotate. Contact and then go. Contact and then go. Contact and then go. Here we go. Rotate. Rotate. Make contact. Make contact. Box out. Box out. Go again. Good shot. Go again. Go again. Same group. Same group. Did we get in the paint? Did somebody get in the paint? Here we go. White, one push-up, let's go again. White, one push-up, same group, let's go again. Don't let her in the paint. Go again. One push-up, let's go again. Don't let him in the paint. Go again. Go again, go again, go again, go again, go again. Good, good, good. Girls, you can sit down, good job. Girls, you can sit down, good job. Keep the jerseys, keep the jerseys. You can sit down real quick. Girls, you can sit down. We're gonna, we're gonna water break and you guys can rest for two minutes. What you just saw is very simple. What you just saw is very easy. What you just saw, I, I would say, are simple drills. But we saw how much they struggled with that. How many times players got into this area. And now we're doing a three and three, so four and four, five and five. That's a, a high likelihood that the other team's gonna get more shots because they're gonna get offensive rebounds. So we have to make sure that we keep them outside of this area. We wanna own that paint. We wanna own that area. Building the mindset, building the mindset for them requires terminology, requires drills, but it requires us as coaches to make sure they know that and hear that every single day. They have to know that every single practice, every single segment, every single five on five, they have to know outside of the paint. And we have to make them do push-ups or make them run to help them to understand. We need to help them understand. Creating a, a mantra, creating that code word, something that you could believe in, something that they understand, 
all of these different drills, whether I'm passing, whether somebody else passing, whether the coach is passing, this area is very, very important. And now we're gonna have to add confusion. Right now, that was very simple, it was very structured. I know that that's my person right there. Sometimes in basketball, which is not a perfect game, there's gonna be a chance where I had the first pass, somebody has to rotate somewhere, somebody shoots. That's my man over there, but I gotta box this person out, okay? So now, the team that I had, please, can you please put the jerseys back on that you had? The teams that had those jerseys, please put them back on. So orange, orange, you're inside the key. Blue, blue, I want one blue in the same exact spots. Orange is inside the key. And I want three new girls in white. Three new girls that were not on last time. New girls, new girls, new girls. New. Blue, one on the wing, one on the top, one on the wing, please. Orange, you're right here. This Ratgeba circle, this logo, we're circling around right now. Coach, you're right there, right where you are. We're circling around right now. They're all your, they're all your opponent. That's not yours, that's not yours, that's not yours. You're going in a circle. We're going in this direction right here. You're going in this direction. At some point in time, he's going to pass. We're going to make a second pass. There's a shot. If you have to take a dribble to shoot, go ahead. There's a shot, and we got to box out. Own this paint. You guys have to keep them out. White, can you please go behind? White is behind. White is behind. White is behind. We need to get three rebounds. They have to get three rebounds without somebody getting in the paint. We have to get three rebounds for our chance to go out, and then somebody else comes in. Ready? Go, circle, circle, whenever you want. Box out, contact, contact, contact. Go again, go again, go again. That's already one push up. The, the number's gonna go higher, you gotta box out. Gotta box out, contact, be aggressive, own the paint. Keep her out, keep her out. Go again, go again. Go again, good shot, good shot, go again. Let's go, Orange, let's go. Go again, go again, Orange. Stop. So here, here's what I saw. I saw Orange looking around like, why didn't you do, like, oh, pfft. we gotta circle again, we gotta rebound again. At some point in time, it's okay to be mad at your teammates. Conflict is good. Conflict is good. It's good to say, box out! It's good to do that. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean I don't like you. It doesn't mean I don't like you. It doesn't mean I don't like you. But when I look at her face, like she looks sad and mad and like frustrated. All you have to do is touch one of them and make sure they don't come inside here. That's it. Three times. And if you can't, and if you can't do that, you don't deserve to play. So as coaches, we hold something very magical for them. They all want to play. If you can't box out, you don't belong on here. Because the coaches can do something like this. Sub, next. So you have a chance right now to say, I want to score. I want my mom and dad to see me getting buckets. I want to win a championship. I want to go like this and get a medal around my neck. But if you don't rebound, they get to shoot more times than we do. In simple math, they're gonna get more points. All right, box out. Here we go. Here we go. Find a body, find a body. Good job, good job. One more, one more, Orange. One more, let's go. White, 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 white. Box out. Good job, one more, one more, good shot, one more. We gotta get a miss, we gotta rebound and miss. Here we go, here we go. Box out, box out. Go again, go again, go again. Keep her out, contact, keep her out. Don't let her get in there, don't let her get in there. Box out. Okay, good, stop. These girls are very good shooters, okay? Can you please come in here right now? Can you come right here? 
So we're talking about owning the pain. I want to be crystal clear. I want to be very open and make sure we're all on the same page to communicate, okay? So we've talked about owning this paint. This is also outside the paint. This is also outside. So somebody's going to run in at some point in time, just like she did. She did a great job. She came in like this and worked. Just keep working. Just keep working. Keep her that way. Keep her that way. Because if she's here, she's not going to rebound anyway. It's impossible. She's out of bounds. And even if she is in bounds, she got in the paint, but at least here, the ball's going to bounce that way. So it's very important to make sure that our players understand out of the paint is also on the baseline. Okay? White, you're inside here. White, you're inside. Same drill. Same drill. Here we go. Box out. Stop. Stop. Look what happened. Look what happened. She's standing right here. Awkward angle, a little bit of a tip, and blue gets the ball. Okay? White, one push up, and let's go again. White, one push up, and let's go again. Here we go. Let's go. Go again. You okay? Here we go. Go again. Keep her out. Good. Let's go. Go again. All good. Go again. Out of the paint. Out of the paint. Out of the paint. Stop. White. Two push-ups. White. Two push-ups. Go again. Go again. Let's go. Box out. Go again. Out of the paint. Out of the paint. Go again. Last group, last group inside. Last group inside. It's okay to touch. You okay? All right. Here we go. Good hustle. Keep them out of the paint, though. Good hustle, everybody. Good hustle. Keep them out of the paint. Out of the paint. Out of the paint. Talk, D. Talk so you know who you have. Who's got who? Stop. Mis miscommunication, right? Nobody was there, and then both are here, and then nobody was there, and then nobody was boxing out. I got it, you got it, something, just talk. All right, here we go, go again. Stop. Good job, go again. What's your name? What? She got, she got all the way inside here, and then good things happen for offense. Nobody said this is easy. I saw you get hit. I saw you get hit. You two didn't get hit yet, okay? At some point in time, you're going to get hit. At some point in time, you're going to get hit. At some point in time, you're going to get hit. And I guarantee you, just like I said earlier, if you try to box out, if you try to box out or you try to get a rebound and the person hits you, most people are going to quit. Maybe you're really, really tough. Maybe you're really tough. Most people, once they get hit in their lip, they say, you know what? Thank you. No, th no thank you. I'll stay here. They don't want contact. So by being aggressive, if we can hit some people and not get on sportsman like fouls, not be dirty, but if we can make contact, most people will stop coming in. They're coming in because they have to. It's a drill. Okay? But most people in a real game, they'll stop. So if we can set the tone and be aggressive and it starts in practice, good things will happen for our team. Okay? We need two more rebounds. Here we go. Two more. Stop. Go again. Blue one push up. Blue one push up. Hey, great job. Great job. Let's go. Let's go, box out. 
On the paint. Don't let him get in the paint. Hey, stop. Freeze. Go where, Go where you were. Go where you were. Go where you were. Go where you were. If, freeze, if I could take a picture, and I could show that picture to everybody in the crowd, like this is what it should look like, you just did that. You just did that. You just did that. Good job. Good job. Okay? Good job. All right. Now, coach, can you please set up that I have five in white and five in orange? Five in white and five in orange. Please get set up. Great job. Great job. Great job. Okay? So what we just saw at the end right there after some, some maybe some contact stuff, we have to force them to do that. Boys, girls, men, kids, we have to force them to know this. Nobody naturally comes out and is super aggressive to own this area. If we say it every day, if we work it every day, if we punish every single day, eventually they'll understand that. We're going to take a drill that we did in the previous clinic now. Orange. Orange. Orange, you're on offense. White, you're on defense. Please set up a diamond. Please set up a diamond. Somebody's right there. We have two screeners here. Somebody's on the free throw line right here on the nail. Somebody has the ball right here on the top. Orange is on offense. Orange is on offense. You're the point guard? Okay. All right. So now we're, we can incorporate different things. We worked on a similar drill in the previous clinic. We were working on off-ball defense. Now we're working on rebounding. Okay, so we're going to add something. You can come off either side. Doesn't matter to me. Pick a side. Try to get open. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So good, take one step out and take, take one step out. You're like, you're like this, setting a screen. You're, you're setting a screen. You can come off either side, okay? You're putting, put ball pressure. Take one step back. Good, come off either side, please. Good, stay there. You see this? You come to this side and you ask for the ball. Like, I want the ball, don't throw it, no. But you're like, give it to me. Did you see how she threw it to me? Did you saw it? Why did you throw it to me? Because I was like, give it to me, right? Like, like, want the ball, okay? If she throws it there, she throws it here, it's going to be the same thing. You could throw it there. Let's say you threw it to this side. Please throw it here. Okay. Right now, it's always going to be the opposite. It's always going to be the opposite. It's going to come set a screen. Come set a screen. You're going to go opposite underneath. You're going to set a screen. And you guys can play your normal pick and roll defense right now. What do you guys normally do? What do they normally do in this situation, pick and roll defense? Hard hedge, then hard hedge, okay? So that means you, you slip out, slip out and look for it. Maybe you can even pop, okay? You're gonna pass here, you're gonna pass here. You're coming up, you're, circ you're circling over. You're gonna set a screen right here. You're, you're playing defense, right? You're playing defense. You hard hedge right here normally? Okay, so you're gonna slip out, hard hedge, slip out a little bit. No, no, you're, you're hard hedging her, dribble this way, and you're slipping out, good. All right, from here is live. So I'm not teaching them a special play. I'm not working on defense. We're working on rebounding. You have to do this. You have to do this pick and roll. If nothing happens, you can shoot. If nothing happens, then we play this pick and roll. And you can shoot anything. Coach, can you explain it? They understand? Okay, so it's live right now. If she plays defense like this, Dribble around here and go score. It's live right now. Okay? Here's what I care about. Here's what I care about. What do I care about? Owning this paint. Owning this holy, sacred area. Own the paint. Nobody gets inside here. Nobody gets inside here. She comes off the pick and roll. She shoots. Everybody go find somebody and box out. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. Good, good. White, you're on offense. White, you're on offense. Here we go. Same. Same drill. Same drill. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody one push-up. Every girl, everybody one push-up. Everybody one push-up. I would like for you 
Go ahead. You figure it out. Go ahead. Good? Okay. I would like for you to, to make noise and to talk. I would like to hear that we're playing defense. I would like to make sure that we're rotating. I would like to make sure that we know where our teammates are. I would like for us to talk. Super quiet. How, how do you say library in Hungarian? Library. Bibliotek. Okay. When you go into a library, you should be quiet. Here is a chance to make noise. I got to know, Bob, blood. Like, make noise or else you're not playing basketball. Okay? Orange ball. Orange ball. Come on. Orange ball. Let's go. Let's go. Aggressive. Aggressive. Stop, stop, stop. Good shot, good shot. I saw her walk in, I saw her walk into the paint. White, five push-ups. White, five push-ups. Listen, she made a shot. It's, it's never gonna be zero to 75, unless you, I don't know who you play, okay? There, other teams are gonna score. But she scored a layup, she might miss she might miss. I saw one person walking in, got inside. I saw another person walking in because we had people like this, helping and watching. We had nobody helping and then finding a body. We got a white, find a body. Go make contact. Here we go, go again. Go again, orange ball, orange ball, orange ball. White, if you wanna play offense, box out, get a stop. Here we go. Play. Box out. Box out. Much better. Much better. Switch. Switch. Find a body. Own the paint. Find a body. Own the paint. Here we go. Good, turnover, rotate, switch teams, switch teams. Here we go. Everybody box out. Stop, white one push up. White, everybody on white, one push up. Go again, go again. Who let your girl into the paint? Raise your hand, who let your girl into the paint? Yeah. Don't let him get in the paint, go again, here we go. Here we go. Box out. Good. That was a chance to box her behind the backboard, though. Okay? You got the rebound because you're taller. Okay? You got the rebound. But that was a good chance to kind of keep her here, see that the ball bounces, you can get it, and then go get it. Make sense? All right. Here we go. White. Good, good. Now, we're gonna go back to the same drill we did in the very beginning when we had two on two. It's gonna be much better. It's gonna be much sharper. Everybody should understand exactly what I want right now. I want contact, I want nobody getting the paint. Now, with two and two, it's much more obvious for coaches to see who made a mistake. It's obvious to see who made a mistake, okay? Right now, orange, you're right there. One orange. One orange, you're right there. All right, everybody else on the baseline. We got a white on the baseline with the ball. White on the baseline with the ball. One white right here. 
Listen, you're passing, you're passing to the same side and you're running to the opposite. This is where communication again is very important. Pass. Hold on. If you guys don't talk, boom, yeah, it's a like a car accident. So make sure you understand. Okay, ball's here. Hold on. As soon as she passes to you, it's a shot. There's no second pass right now. Pass, shot. Ready? Go. Go. Box out. Box out. Box out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Keep her out. Keep her out. That white team, you're out. You made a mistake. Two push-ups. New white. New white. Two new white. Two new white. Here we go. Box out. Box out. Out of the paint. Out of the paint. Hey, that's fantastic hustle. Fantastic hustle. Fantastic hustle. White, you guys are there. White, you guys are there. Fantastic hustle. Good job. Good job. Here we go. Stop. Stop. Go again. Go again. You can't box somebody out of the paint when you stand inside the paint. You, you cannot box somebody out of the paint if you're standing in the paint. You got to get your body to the paint. This is not too far away. I, I'm not asking anybody to run. This is silly to run here and box out here. They shot way over there. Why would I box out over here? No, silly. But you cannot, and we have to break and build habits. Break bad habits and build good habits. The shot comes from over there. I can go here. She runs into me. If she decides, if, if she hasn't already been hitting her lip, or her ear, or her shoulder, or her stomach, and if she's still brave, and she wants to come in, and she sees me like a, a wild animal, I'm like, if she's brave, she comes in, I meet her here. Come on, I'm not going to hurt you, okay? I meet her here, and I'm like, I work to keep her here. Because if I do that, I guarantee she will not get it. That's the first step. She will not get it. Now, there's a chance that you might... And if everybody has that same attitude and mindset, we'll get more rebounds and we'll win more games. Okay, here we go. Go get her, push her out, push her out. Good, go again, go again. If you can make every shot, make every shot. Okay, here we go. Go get it, go again, go again, go again. Hold on, time out. I don't know if, if you, you have this saying in Hungarian, but in English there's a saying, if it was easy, everybody can do it. If it was easy, everybody would have all those trophies up there. Everybody would have their jersey hanging up with their name. There'd be, everybody gets a jersey. Do you want your jersey retired? Yes, okay. Do you want to win the game? Okay, both teams win. If it was easy, everybody could do it. It's not easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes effort. And it takes being super aggressive. But that's the only way. That's the only way. Here we go. Go get her. Go get her. Better. Not perfect, but better. Rotate. Rotate. Good, stop, go back and do it again, go back and do it again. Same group, same order. So let's go slow motion, okay? You passed it, don't shoot yet, please. We're going. As I'm coming here, as I'm coming here, if my feet and I'm too much on my heels, or if I'm too much like this, I, I can't really react that good. If my knees are straight, can you please straighten your knees? Make your knees straight. And jump as high as you can, but don't bend your knees. Jump. Not very high, right? Now you can bend your knees and jump. Go ahead. Good. Put your feet together and stand like this just so the, the coaches can see this, okay? With one finger, I'm going to try. I don't know if I can. With one finger, I'm going to try to push you over. You try not to let me, okay? But you, can't, you cannot move your feet. With one finger, I'm going to try. Okay? Now you can put your feet however you want, and I'm going to try to push you with that one finger. You can bend your knees. You can. 
impossible. What's the difference? Everything was different, right? Balance, stability, everything was different because your feet were wide and you bent your knees. So you ran out there last time a little bit too close, a little bit too upright. That makes it easy for her. She's running at you. That makes it easier for you to knock you down. If the closest man to me, if I said, run at me and try to knock me over, I would not stand like this. And that's basically what we have right now, right? I would probably go like this. You know, like to, to be stronger, to be prepared. So as this is happening right now, on every box out that we have, every box out that we have, you have to be aggressive, you have to be balanced, you have to be wide, you have to be ready, you have to be really, really stable, okay? So as this is coming out and the shot happens, you're running here, you're running here, please come in, don't run me over, okay? All right, you're coming here, not to go like this, you're coming here to be like this and like try to be lower than her. I think you're taller, right? So bend your knees even more to get lower than her. Get lower than her and you can keep her out. I promise you it will be better. Okay, here we go. Ball's right there. Let's go. Go again. Go again. Good. Try to get every single one. Make her work. Try to get every single rebound, okay? Make her work. Just like they did to you. Great job. Great job. Great job. Rotate. 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 Hold on, let's change this side now. Change this side. Here we go. Stop, stop, stop. Go back, go back. So you may think that this has nothing to do with rebounding, but I think it has everything to do with basketball and rebounding and basketball go hand in hand. Talking, talking. Maybe you coordinated in Hungarian in a secret I didn't understand first and you said you run first, I'll go second. Maybe you already did that. But somebody's shooting, nobody said, I got ball, I got sh shot. Nobody said nothing. It was a library. So active body, active mouth, talk. Ready, go. Box out, out of the paint. Go again, go again, good job, go again. Go again. Good shooting. Here we go. Go again. Are you the best shooter on the team? Okay. Here we go. Out of the paint. Out of the paint. How are you? Go again. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Good. Finally. 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 Can you please come here real quick? I want you to, to read this word. Say it loud so everybody can hear you. Contact, okay? Can you please say this word? Effort. Just effort. Effort, okay? Girls, you can sit down. Thank you very much. Girls, you can sit down. Thank you very much. Okay? There's, there's a couple drills that we did. And simple, simple drills that you should do at least once a week. I would say at least once a week. Maybe every Tuesday, maybe every Wednesday. But at least once a week you should do those drills. But what I really think is important is that the principles that we worked on happen every single day. Every single day, every single drill, every single scrimmage, every single game, you have to make sure, one, that they appreciate how important these rebounding situations are, that they understand visually, they can see what their job is, and then they know if they did a good job or not. It, it all comes down to that contact, but it really comes down to pride. Pride, not just being like, okay, whoever wants to come in here can do that. It would be a terrible feeling if you went home and somebody was laying on your bed, sleeping on your pillow, right? This is your home. This is your area. This is yours. Don't let people come in here.
Be angry. Be angry and protect this area. The easiest way, the easiest way to control the game is by making sure that you get more shots than the other team. That's the easiest way to control the game. If we can make sure we box out that we get more shots because they only get two offensive rebounds and we get 13, if we both shoot 50%, we're going to win. It's the easiest way to control the game. I would like to challenge you, coaches, to take some of this information and implement, create, adapt, adjust some of your own drills to make sure that they're getting contact. They need to get used to that.